it's Jill with Quick Flicks. And gonna be doing a few layouts here um, this morning. Um, for those of you that uh, have been so patiently waiting for me to do more layouts and less projects. Um, still have a lot of projects to do, but I'm, I'm gonna take a break from that. Um, and work on some pages for my baby Isabel. What I forgot to do was cut my photo mats out here. Let me do this real quick. And I'm going to be using um, some of my digital prints. Uh, uh, normally, I do not use digital prints um, for paper. However, once in a while I do because when I have something specific in mind for a color, I like to use a digital if I have it in a can. Uh, you know, I, lo I love the stack packs. I think they're great because you get all the colors that kind of coordinate and, and go together. Um, but a lot of times, um, the stack packs, I get halfway through and realize that the last half of the page, I don't like the paper. And I don't use the paper if I don't like it. Um, I don't. And so I have a lot of waste. Now, when somebody says printing out can get very expensive with the ink, it can. But just to give you an example of things that I was saying is like the recycling at um, Staples. They actually do it at, at Office Max and they do it at, um, well, those two that I know of because that's where I go. But Staples is my pr primary place that I go because I'm a premier customer there. And so I my amount of of cartridges that I can recycle in a month is double than what it used to be. And just to give you an example, I got my rewards the other day um, for my my recycled cartridges, and that's about the only thing I get there. However, when I upgrade from the 7510 Epson printer to the 7520 or the 7620, which will give me two paper drawers, I will buy it from staples but I'm going to wait until after the first of the year because I want to get um, if you've had over five hundred dollars in sales in a calendar year at staples you become a premier customer and you get double um, rewards on your recycled um, cartridges I'm going all over the place here but I'm cutting these out as I'm doing this because I meant to do this I got up this morning and uh, got working right off the bat, but then I needed to go. Um, I had an appointment that I had to go to. Then when I got home, my husband wanted to run to get Halloween costumes for my granddaughter's birthday party tomorrow. Kendall just turned six, and her party's tomorrow. And we are all going in costume, which she'll think is just, she doesn't know that. So it's just kind of a surprise for her. But anyway, what I was saying was, I don't know, I forgot. I'm rambling on like I've had too much coffee. Um, anyway, I, oh, I, I was telling you that I got my rewards of uh, yesterday of, I think it was $68 what I, what I got and went to Staples and with my 15% or 10% off card and my reward coupons that I had, um, I ended up getting a three pack of my ink along with a single individual pack of the magenta I go through a ton of. Um, it ended up, ended up costing me four dollars and eleven cents. If I went and calculated, I numerous people have asked me, "Don't I spend a lot on ink?" I do spend a lot on ink, but I get it at a discount, and I recycle my cartridges. And with that savings alone, um, as much as I do. If you take into consideration you're working on a project and you don't have the paper you need, you got to run to the store. If you're using and you buy a paper mat, and you don't use all or paper pack staff, you don't use them all. You've got a bunch of paper there that you wasted. Um, the the running around to find a specific color. There's all sorts of things that you don't take in con into consideration when you do this that gets costly. Time is money to me and if I'm running around because I need to find something specific because a person wants something. Perfect example, my daughter, what I'm working on, 
now needed uh, damask and purple and damask and gray. For me to go run around or go online and find a sheet of 12 by 12 damask gray and damask purple would be a waste of time and it would end up costing me more. I bought a digital package of damask and I think it was $1.99 and there were 78 colors in that digital. 78, they're all the same pr um, pattern of damask but I had 78 colors in that one file. So, with that said, yes, it's expensive to print. If you're doing it the way that I do it, um, in the amount that I do it, it saves me so much time. I can be so much more productive and get things out the door quicker. As a rule, um, I've been kind of bad this past month because I've had an awful lot going on that I've had a setback mentally that's been really, really, really difficult for me to stay focused and, and um, I'm needed elsewhere and so I've been very hit and miss. Oh, and that flew right off the edge of the table. Oh, oh, oh. But anyway, um, as much as I do the, the digital paper print to me is so worth it so worth it so um, for those of you that ask to me I just you know I bought the business silhouette software and I absolutely love it because I can use my three machines and it also has a nesting where you can put images let's say in different shapes that you were going to cut like let's say you had a triangle you had a circle or no scraps of paper not print and cut scraps of paper you have a scrap of paper that you can take and put those on your mat and take your pic scan and take a picture of it so you have I did get pic scan, pic scan mat just to have it and I was going to do a video on it but I can't figure out how to use it once I upload it because I don't have the icon where it said pic scan that I'm supposed to on my software but anyway if you were going to use a piece of gray and you had a piece of gray paper that was this shape and you wanted to do stars on it, if you scan the different shapes that you have of scrap paper, we're going to say these are all different colors, you can take your images and with the nesting and it's a star, you can put your stars in here and just hit the nesting and it will fill in stars within that shape. I mean it does have a, a, a lot of really cool things on it that you can do. The only thing I use it for is I can hook up all three of my machines and use them at the same time. So I load all my mats, I print out whatever I'm doing, I lay them on my mats, load them in my machines, and then I sit down at my software and I hit, hit, I hit start, 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 and now all three of my machines just go bam, bam, bam. It's awesome. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. But I will spend some time playing around um, trying to figure out some of the other features that it has and how it works because I know not all of you do what I do with your silhouettes and um, I would like to help out. Unfortunately, I just don't know how to use half the stuff. So that's where we're at. Um, I need some pink ribbon here and I think I want pink. I know I want pink. I just want to see if I have the right pink. And I do right here is what I'm looking for and I don't have enough of it. That bites. I don't have enough. And so guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to use this pink. This pink is uh, an itty bitty teddy bear. What I did for my base colors here, I print these two 12 by 12 sheets of paper off in the damask. When you do a 12 by 12, it prints and leaves about a quarter of an inch white all the way around. To me, this looks like it's matted. It's like I have a uh, 11 and 3 quarters inch square paper on top of the 12 by 12. So that white outline is uniform all the way around, so it does not bother me. Um, it doesn't print because, like uh, um, I think I've said in a previous video, it does not have a, 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 a what do they call it, an overflow, overspray, because your poor, poor printer would be an absolute mess if it oversprayed ink inside of it. The next thing that I did is I print out this cloud. Um, this image or this shape is actually from 
um, my Cricut cartridge Elegant Edges. Again, I did a screen print um, and did it in my silhouette because I wanted to do the print and cut. Um, and it has little clouds on it and then these little hearts cut off on the top and the bottom. I'm going to use one of those in the center of each of my pages. And then I took my Martha Stewart um, heart border punch and I made a darker gray heart border that I'm going to put through the center here. Well, I suppose I can start taping, couldn't I? That would be nice because I could be here for a while if I don't. I'm so excited tomorrow for Kendall's party. She's going to think it's so cool for everybody to show up in costume. Her party was actually the 8th of October um, and she had a uh, her birthday party with all her little friends because she's in kindergarten now and and um, it was a real big deal to her to have a birthday party for the first time with friends, not just family and cousins and things. So they went to something. I didn't go. It was it was um, some sort of a gym or rock climbing or something. I don't even know. The party tomorrow is family, cousins and grandparents and we're all going to show up in costume. So my husband and I went to the Halloween Express this morning um, to pick out our costumes um, and I will say one thing my god is that stuff expensive you know and especially at my age because like I, I quit trick-or-treating I just gave it up I, I just as much as I like candy um, I am going as Superwoman I think that's her name, Superwoman, or Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, that's it. I'm Superwoman, I'm going as Wonder Woman, um, and my husband is going as a hippie, and that I cannot wait for my daughter to see, it's going to be hilarious, because my husband's bald, and uh, we got him a wig, and we're going to, doesn't have eyebrows, we're going to glue eyebrows on him, and it'll be pretty funny. When he gets all dressed up, he's going to look like anybody that's anywhere near my age. Um, I highly doubt if any of my viewers... Well, there's a few of you out there that are uh, Cheech and Chong. That, that is who he reminds me of. Uh, or when... Yeah, anyway. Um, I will be sharing. I guarantee you I will be sharing. I don't know if it will be just pictures or if I will actually be doing one of my, my family videos that I like to do. It all depends. It all depends, but I definitely will be sharing pictures because I think it'll be pretty funny. I'm not going to tell my daughter what we're going as. She's going to, my husband's going to tell her we, we're not dressing up because we're just too old for that. Okay, now that I think I have these kind of even, I'm going to put these down in the middle. Oop, the clip art that I'm using is actually from my um, Magic Maker. Um, site that I've recommended to everybody, Magic Maker hyphen scraps. Um, rumor has it, customer did tell me that she has moved her shop to um, Etsy. So I haven't, or she now has her shop at Etsy and she no longer has that offer of buy my shop for $37 or something like that. That might have been something that she just had and I just happened to luck in at the time when she was having it. Could have been a special. You know how we have specials all the time. I don't. I don't, but people do. I don't have Black Friday, just an FYI. Do not have it. Um, but she, um, the, the clip art that I'm going to be using in this layout is from, from that's my daughter calling me. Um, I'll call her back. I, um, the clip art I'm going to be using here is, and I didn't make them quite the same size, but that's okay because I'm going to line it with this little pink maybe no I don't think I like that let me see I don't think I like that as 
a matter of fact, I know I don't. So I'm going to grab a different pink ribbon right here. No, and I'm going to use different pink ribbon. You know what I'm going to use? I'm going to use white lace. Aren't you glad that I'm not uh, like all over the place in my videos? I used to watch them before I would post them. And thankfully for any of you that enjoy watching my videos and having coffee with me in the morning, um, thankfully I don't watch them because I probably wouldn't post half of them. I will go back and look at them after I've already posted them once in a while. If somebody references something, I might go back and watch it. However, um, I get sometimes tempted to go in and, and delete it. Uh, probably because I talk too much. But, thank you to those folks out there that have told me how you enjoy that. Thankfully, because probably something that's not going to change anytime soon. My husband would tell you it hasn't changed in 40 years. Why would it change now? No, no, no. Let me see. Let me see. Now my daughter's calling my husband. I can hear his phone ringing, but I think he's trying to nap. I wore him out in the costume store. He had picked out some real lovely costumes that he thought he could get me to wear. Uh, not him. My um, future daughter-in-law is loaned me a black tulle, little tutu that I'm going to wear as part of my costume of Wonder Woman. And my son saw it laying out and asked her what that was doing laying out. And she said, well, your mom's going to be wearing that for Halloween, um, part of her costume. And I think my, my son just about lost it. He's like, my mother's going to wear that? I think he was threatening to stay home if I dare. But, I'm going to pull it off, doggone it. I'm going to do it. Doggone, that's my daughter again. Um, I'm going to put you on pause and I will be right back with you. Hi, I'm back again. If I didn't take my daughter's call there, I know she was just going to keep hanging out and calling me back. Anyway, I'm just arranging my pictures here, how I'm going to do them. Um, Isabel's legs. This was, well, this was the, when she was, the day she was born. She's just clamped off here. Uh, I'm trying to think if she was just born. I think she was, this was immediately. My gosh, look at the size of those legs, though. She was one big baby. And still is. She is a big, a big little girl, if that makes any sense. Let me see here. I'm going to tilt that. Now what I did down here is I sliced off the bottom of the pictures to go along the bottom of the page. I didn't want to completely cover off my um, the hearts that are in this decoration on this paper. So I am trying to open up a little space here so it shows a little bit. And let's see. And I don't want to cut into her head, but I'm going to cut that page off. So let me flip this over and clip them off. And my daughter, when she was on the phone with me, she said, oh, I got to go. Um, Amy's calling, which is her sister, my other daughter. So she hung up with me after interrupting me so she could talk to her sister and I'm back here trying to finish this up and will not be surprised if in a few minutes the phone rings and it's Amy calling me. They do keep me on my toes, that is for sure. I told my husband I don't know what I would do. I probably, probably call me an average of Amy calls me at least, at least six times a day. Amber pretty much that too and um, they all call me my my um, 
Jenna, my future daughter-in-law, says, uh, I cannot believe how much you were on the phone. And um, I said, well, believe it. It's pretty much uh, an occurrence daily. And usually they don't, I don't really know why we talk to each other so much on the phone. I don't really know why, but it's always been that way. And I put that page on, that picture on upside down. Actually, you know what, when somebody's given birth, it's hard to tell which ends up. I can't believe I just said that, but you know, I know I, I know when I gave birth, I, I couldn't, I, I couldn't tell which it felt like it was up. It felt like somebody was pulling my lower lip up over my head. Nothing more than, you know, back in the day when I had my kids, there was no such thing as epidurals. They didn't do them. They did not believe in them. And I remember wanting to choke the life out of the doctor, telling him to do something. You know, it's like, oh, the most horrific pain ever. But the most rewarding, when it's all over and said and done, and they hand that baby to you, that's why women have babies and not men, because women, they forget and they just go on and have more. Men would probably, we would never be able to populate the world. So I keep telling my husband, he gets so bad with the cold, you'd think he was have his leg amputated or his head cut off or something. If he ever had a baby, we'd only have one child, that's for sure. Or it's just that us women don't think and forget real easy. I don't know. Didn't that sound very, very, um, I don't know what the word for it that I want to use without sound, sounding bad, but I hope I didn't offend anybody saying that, but don't mean to offend anybody. It is what it is. It is what it is. And this is the other, these are the two pieces that I'm using. Um, again, they were from the Magic Makers. And uh, the one thing is, is on there, there's a lot of kids, um, ki kids in general, um, clip art. But some of the baby stuff, uh, some of those little baby images are almost scary looking. They're so ugly. And I don't like to use those. I like it when they're at least cute, but there's one that came and it's numerous babies. And I'm thinking, well, some of them are for toddlers or, or young kids pages too. But man, some of them are really ugly. And I like to keep the little baby pictures a little on the cute side. I saw a thing on YouTube, or not on YouTube, on Facebook the other day or something. And it was, uh, somebody had taken a pair of, for a Halloween party. I thought it was so cool. They had taken a pair of denim jeans and a um, shirt, like a plaid shirt, and I don't know what the head was and whatever, and they cut the legs open down the front of the legs, like the knee, cut that whole area open and laid it open on both of the leg, leg, leg of the pants and laid them out on a table and stuffed them like with straw or whatever, except the legs were cut open and they put tin pans full of like chicken wings and ribs and things like that in these things stuck inside the legs. So it looked like the legs were cut open and that this, this was the inside and the bones of the legs. And then they did the same thing in the chest with the shirt cut open and the same thing with the head with some sort of pasta so it looked like brains. I thought, I thought it was so cool. I thought it was really, really cool. And I sent it to my daughter and said, oh man, do this for Kendall's birthday party. And uh, her response back to me is, I don't think she thought it was as cool as I did. I think she was afraid of traumatizing. She said, I wouldn't be able to eat looking at that because she thought it was so gross. And here I'm thinking, I must be one sick puppy because I thought it looked really cool. But, uh, so, we're not doing that. I guess we're not doing that. I don't know what she's doing for decoration. She hasn't even got her, she just moved a couple weeks and had, hasn't even got her half of her house unpacked. So, I'm going to be real curious to see how she's going to pull that one off for tomorrow with everybody coming over. But, let's see, where do I want this? 
I'm going to put that right smack in the center, and then I need something else up here. Well, you know what? I made two of these, so what the heck? Normally I would not. Nah, boo, nah. Nope, don't want to do it. I'm not going to put two on the same layout. Let me see what I have here that could be cute. And I know there's got to be something in here. And let me see what. See, isn't it lovely the way I'm always so prepared? Good thing I got stories to tell, because I sure waste a lot of your time just having to watch my watch me figure out what I'm gonna do. But you know what? When I don't know what I'm doing and just kind of have my papers lined up, this can kind of show you that it doesn't have to take you that long to do a layout. So you stop procrastinating or you're watching somebody else doing a video that is being measuring, got a tape measure out there and measuring and making sure everything is absolutely perfect and gets overwhelmed watching that person that you think, I can't do that. That's, that's how I was. I've watched somebody in particular a lot. I liked her layouts, but um, I would never get anything done if I tried to do my layouts the way that she does. Ouch. That hurt. So what I'm going to do is I took some bling here that is pink and gray and this is who's made by Prima. And I do believe this is from Hobby Lobby. Yeah Prima I think is Hobby Lobby or I got it at Hobby Lobby. Um, I don't buy much bling at Hobby Lobby because they don't they have a lot of really fancy stuff but they don't, I don't think their sales are as good. I like Michael's better. Um, we just, we have a Target, Michael's and Target are right by each other where I live. And they used to be at Ashley Furniture between the two, separating the two stores. And Ashley's moved to another location. And they just opened a Hobby Lobby there. And I cannot figure out for the life of me why on earth you would put a Hobby Lobby next door to a Michaels. Um, so I want to see who moves first. Because to me, uh, Hobby Lobby has a lot more stuff like decorations and things for your home. But it's still a craft store. Now why would you put it right next door? There's all sorts of places, vacant businesses in that same area just blows my mind that you put it right next door but it's probably why they don't hire me because I probably would make the right decisions yep I like it with the bling I'm going with that and you know since this book is for my daughter or my granddaughter um, I'm gonna probably end up using the whole pack and just bling the fire out of this. I love these colors together. Really, really nice. Some of these pictures aren't all that attractive, but this was actually um, her laying here hooked up to the monitors getting ready to give birth. This was the, this was the hour she was born. So, between her and my daughter, mm -hmm. I won't tell my daughter that I did this on YouTube. Because she would probably not like that. But, I'll just tell her, if you want to see your pages get done, leave me alone. I'll put my foot down right on her. Okay, I think I got it done there. And we're going to call this one completed. There we go. I'll take some pictures where I don't have my shadow in it, and I'll get this uploaded. And I'll be back with another layout. Have a good one. Bye-bye.